She tried to do the most. She lifting her shirt, pulling them little home alone, Macaulay Coke and chest out. Ah! That's how I felt. That like the part of home alone when she pulled that little chest out. Like Macaulay Coke and please. Love, let's be clear, I ain't never took a loss Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta take the cross Still independent, still my own boss Still got bad bitches coming up they draws Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito Lucci flame my hot like a motherfucking Cheeto This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto So the nigga out, treat him like a free code Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangsta Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say thank What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V And welcome back to my channel I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be reviewing bad versus wow episode six thick versus thin so if you're like wait how, how so much drool came up in my mouth like that okay that's crazy that don't try to embarrass me don't try to embarrass me on this camera i'm talking to myself but if you <laughs> like to know my review of bad versus wow episode six stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, and let's get it. Okay, for episode six of Bad vs. Wow, we had the team captains of the bad side being Roly and the wow side being Slim. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I When I put on my Instagram what y'all wanted me to review first, WrestleMania, which was amazing. But WrestleMania, Bad vs. Wow, or Mean Girls Reunion Part 2, everyone voted. Well, not everyone. It was really actually kind of close between WrestleMania and Bad vs. Wow. But Bad vs. Wow won. I wanted to review WrestleMania. Because I'm not going to lie. This episode of Bad vs. Wow have put me to sleep. No tea, no shay. But yeah, here I am, y'all. So, on the bad team, we had the captain, Roly. I did not know any of these people that were on Roly's team. But Bambi, Chrissy... Titty City, Julia, Stacy on Slim Team, which was the wild side. We had Slim, Wet Wet, Bayesian, Lil Reese, Trap Bunny, Blue Simone. I didn't know any of them either except for Wet Wet. Y'all know I live for me some Wet Wet, okay? So they were basically trying to break down what was the real beef or the issues between Roly and Slim. And basically they both was getting on live saying this and that about each other um i guess apparently slim felt the type of way that roly was asked to do another season of baddies and she wasn't and it just kind of turned into like basically like a sneak distance fest between them from there i you know roly was saying she was helping slim out giving her money and this and that i don't know but you guys know they start off by going backstage first and Wet Wet was kind of trying to understand because Slim was like, do y'all know what's going on between me and Rolly? And Wet Wet was like, you know, trying to get an understanding on what it is. And, you know, Slim says something along the lines of like Rolly offered to help, but she didn't accept it. And Wet Wet was kind of just like, if you know you needed the help, why didn't you accept it? And it was like Slim immediately got really defensive about it. And what well, well, was like, I mean, is this some truth to what Roly's saying? Because you're kind of getting upset as if some of it is true. No shade, wet, well, well, I peeped that too. I was like, wait, wait. You immediately getting defensive. It's giving Roly not land. And let me speak on that because in my last video, when I said that Roly has slung Brie around, people was in the comments like, oh, you're always so biased to Roly. We can't stand her and you're always on her side. First of all, I'm not on anybody's side but my own. Okay? I'm I'm Team Lucci and that's it. Let's be clear on that. But just because y'all don't like Roly off of a show, it's like I find that sometimes when people don't like a influencer or celebrity or whatever, like when they don't like them, it's just like they can do no right in their eyes. Like they look for the wrong in everything they do. Me, First of all, Roly and I are cool in real life. Like, this is somebody I sit on the phone with for hours at a time. So, I can't start to not like her off of something that happened off of TV. You get what I'm saying? Like, and besides from that, y'all know when I feel like Roly being a bully or whatever, I say that in the video and she has no problem with it. She knows how I am with my reviews. She knows I'm going to keep it a buck and she does not take offense to it if I say something that she doesn't like about her so i'm not scared to speak up about whatever i feel about anybody be clear on that but when i was saying that roly was slinging brie around she was was i supposed to just laugh because y'all don't like roly i can't rewrite history baby i saw it with my own two eyes she was slinging her around 
And on this episode, I'm going to say it again. I feel like Roly might not have been lying about some stuff because the way Slim was acting. Uh, uh, uh. It's the way you act, act, act. Okay, get into it. So anyways, um, yeah, Slim got aggressive with Wet Wet because Wet Wet was kind of just like, yo, it might be some truth to that. Y'all, so they ran a fade. Don't ask me who won. <laughs> don't ask me who won because I don't know. They was they was like, nah! they was looking like some drunk cats in the alley. I ain't know what was happening, baby, okay? I ain't even going. They both was on the ground looking like two drunk cats in the alley. I didn't understand what was happening, okay? Now, I will say that Wet Wet is hilarious because after security separated them and they was back in the dressing room, Wet Wet was just twerking and dancing and blah, blah, blah. And Slim ran up again and wanted to run another fade. I, I didn't see either one of them land anything on that second round. Like, I, I just, it was a whole bunch of shenane, windmilling going on. No fists were closed. It was just straight like, nah. like, that's who Sydney need to run around with. One of them two. Cause that, that's her style right there with the with the squabbling. Sydney, stop trying to get out there with the real big dogs. Get out there and run a fade with with Slim or Wet Wet or something. Like that's more your speed, sister. Like you, you could probably hang with one of them. Okay, no shade. They was giving swatting flies. Like okay, picnic, barbecue, nah, fly shoe fly don't bother me. Okay, that's what it was giving. So then we have a performance by Big Boss Vet. And I'm not going to lie. This was like one of the first performances besides Santana that I didn't just skip past it. Like, because she was lit. She was turned up. She had a lot of energy. It's like, she's a small but mighty kind of gal. You know what I'm saying? She's a small little thing. But she had big stage presence, big, big energy. Okay? I was living for Big Boss Vet. Okay? So um, the teams come out. And Zeus was being messy. Because they had let Roly. And her team hear what was going on in Slim's room with her team. And Roly came out and was like, yeah, we heard everything that Slim was saying. She was back there popping it, blah, blah. She was back there squabbling away with all this and that. And I was just like, I never saw them do that on no other episode. I did not see them let them listen to what the other people were saying. They was real messy for that. They wanted Roly to come out there and, and really get into it with Slim. Zeus... Y'all messy, baby. Y'all, it's messy. Okay? So, um, when Slim and her team came out, she tried to do the most. She lifting her shirt, pulling them little home alone, Macaulay Coke and chest out. Ah! That's how I felt. That, like, the part on home alone when she pulled that little chest out. Like, Macaulay Coke and please. Why would you pull them little home alone chest out like that, G? Nick Cannon was like, come on now, Jim Carrey, put the chest away. Like, come on now, G. Like, I mean, he ain't called it Jim Carrey. I did. But Nick Cannon did say, put them, put them little things away, girl. Put them little nubs away. Like, why would you, why you, why did you pull them out? I'm confused. Why'd you pull those out? I don't understand. Okay. So, anyways, game one was, I forgot the name of it, but it was basically like, they it's the same one that they did on the first episode with Jocelyn and them, where basically like Nick says something that you have to do on the card. Um, and if you don't do it, you have to take something off. Um, not gonna lie, it was pretty boring to me. I really feel like they need to play like Risha Roulette or something if they just need some games, like never have I ever something like y'all could do something else. Okay, because it's not really a challenge for these girls. They already clearly will come out and expose their body anyway. So it's not really a, a game or a challenge to them. They don't care, baby. They they was going to do that regardless. They was going to do that anyway. So, I mean, what, let's see. Like, the game was born to me. Um, but Rowley's team ended up winning that round. Game two. Now, game two, I did like. Game two, they like put different things in a box. And you can't see what it is. And they have the teams try to fill it and figure out what it is. Now, I did like that game. I thought they that that game was entertaining. I feel like they should do that some more. Because, I mean, like, if you go in blindfolded and you feel anything like, even if you feel up like feel like some chopped up bananas or something with your eyes closed, you're not going to know what that is for real. That squishy little weird feeling is going to be like, ah! So that was pretty entertaining. I'm not going to lie. I hope that they play that game again with some people because it i don't know it kind of gave me like fear factor 
bad versus wow combination like i like that game y'all 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 that was cute that was cute y'all had finally picked a good little game okay i'm gonna give y'all y'all little ones i'm gonna give y'all like an eight i can never give y'all a 10 so i'm gonna give y'all like an 8.7 okay i could never give you a 10 huh. yeah okay so like i said that round with the little in the box thing like that was actually really entertaining i think that was really like a fun little thing slim's team ended up winning that round um now the third game was trivia but have you guys been seeing people online do like the little like tortilla and you could psh, across somebody's face with the tortilla if they get it wrong that's what they did i did not feel like this was a good game for them because it was like everybody was kind of like scary with it like don't don't do it hard and don't you know, like girl come on come on y'all y'all know what's just what wind it up and nah, okay fry that tortilla across her face like what are you saying thomas don't do hard you've been like so i don't know that round was kind of like weird because everybody kind of was like uh, don't do it for real like okay whatever but what has shocked me was one of the questions was like what makes water and slim didn't know that it was h2o like she was like huh what h2o like girl you never heard of h2o you didn't know that i feel like i learned that in like kindergarten or something no shade i i, I preschool pre-k I, I probably knew that before i even went to any kind of school at all like you didn't know that h2o was water sister that's insane to me. It's it, it, you need to be on the magic school bus, not on bad versus wow. You need to be over there getting some lessons from Miss Frizzle sister. No shade, because how you did not know that. So Slim team ended up winning that round. I guess even though Slim didn't know H two O, her team knew a little bit more. Okay, no shade. So the final game was that stand on business. Y'all know I don't like this game. I haven't liked the stand on business game for any of the episodes that they've done it on. I feel like this game is just, uh, now I do feel like this game did work for this episode because Slim and Roly actually do have like a real issue with each other type of thing. And you know, so they call Slim and Roly up. Well, Nick called Slim and Roly up and you know, Roly was just basically like, man, like what's your issue for real? Cause I heard you, what you were saying in the back. You know what I'm saying? You was really popping it about me. She was just like, you know, you was bogus because you start being weird with me and you send me a, a rude text. Like, why would they pick you and not me to be back on baddies and all this and that? And, you know, Roly end up taking her wig off. Like, so are, are we finna, are we finna run a fade or what's she like? What's up? Um, Slim didn't want to, you know, Slim was trying to say her little piece or whatever. It was pretty like a long drawn out dramatic soap opera, all my children moment or whatever. But at the end, you know, Slim started crying and they end up hugging and Roly kissed her and they, you know, said they saw a reason. It was real cute. Nick ended up saying, okay, give the, the championship belt to both of them since there was no drama and they squashed everything. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, it, it really was a cute moment. I was glad to see them squash it because, you know, no one wins when the family is into it with each other. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like they really were genuinely good friends, you know, um... You know, when, when Roly and I first started getting really cool and talking on the phone a lot, you know, she used to always talk about how much she loves Slim, you know. So I really was glad that they ended it without running the fade with each other, without putting their hands on each other. I thought it was real nice and cute. I enjoyed the moment. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed the cute little, cute little moment or whatever. So then we had Big Boss Vet run another performance back again y'all she was eating them performances up i'm not gonna lie shout out to big boss Vegas. because i don't even listen to her like that for real i mean i hear her songs on tiktok and you know stuff like that all the time but i've never like really went and like looked her up and added her to my apple music or anything like that but i'm not gonna lie the performances that she did kind of made me want to go look her up and add her to the apple music because she was she was going crazy um so yes you guys that's the end of the episode like i really didn't go into much detail like i usually do because it just was not that much happening that i felt like i needed to speak on or make jokes on or anything like that i'm not gonna lie um y'all know i'm not really feeling this show like that i really wanted to review wrestlemania but y'all asked me to review this so here it goes comment down below if y'all still want me to review wrestlemania though because wrestlemania was was lit this year y'all this was the best wrestlemania they have had in a decade okay for real this is the best wrestlemania they had in a really really long time so comment down below if you guys like my wrestling content because when i did my wrestling vlog it didn't get as many views as like my regular reviews do 
But I really like wrestling, y'all. So, I mean, I would like if y'all would like it too. But I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. Uh, uh, uh. It's the way you act. Act, act. Okay, let me stop.